In this video, we're going to look at the SN74HC04N hex inverter. And so, it's an integrated circuit. The main things for uh, the part number we're looking at here is the 74. It's the 7400 series integrated circuit. And 04 lets you know it's the hex inverter. And so, we have the integrated circuit already in the board here there's 14 pins total seven on that side seven on that side and it's pretty simple we have the input and then the output for one inverter circuit a not gate and uh, we have another one here input output input output then you come over here you have to power it of course so it's best to use a 5 volt power supply you can use 2 to 6 volts, so I haven't been mentioning that in my other videos, but these integrated circuits are really intended for 5 volts, and I haven't tested them out with 3.3 volts, but the data sheets say you can use 2 volts, so 3.3 volts should be just fine. And then we have an input-output, input-output, and input-output. So there's 6 of them, and the input is above the output. So once you have the power supply pins, it's pretty easy to narrow down which one is which. So to begin with, for the input, we don't want to leave the pin floating. And it's not going to damage anything probably. But you really want either a solid connection to the positive rail or the negative rail. You can connect them directly, but I'm going to use a resistor to connect them. And so to begin with, we will start with a positive voltage to the input. We're just going to use this NOT gate right here. Now, what I want to do, I want to color code what uh, the polarity of the output is. So to begin with, I'm going to use a red LED for when the output is more positive. So we're going to put the long lead, the anode there, so when the red LED lights up, we know the output is more positive. The blue LED, I want it to light up when the output is more negative. So we're going to put the short lead, the cathode, to where the output of that NOT gate is. So right there. So these are wired in opposite direction. LEDs are a type of diode. They only conduct in one direction. Now, to get us to where we can light both LEDs we're going to need two resistors so we're going to make a voltage divider we'll put this one to the positive rail right there so that's coming to the other leads of the LEDs from what the output is so it's down there hopefully you can see that and now we need a path to the negative rail right there so we have a polarity indicator circuit here two LEDs wired in opposite directions and then a resistor going to each side of the power supply rail and uh, hopefully it was pretty easy to see that so now I'm going to turn the power on the breadboard power supply so we stuck this resistor up here to the positive rail we have basically 5 volts at the input there and the power supply is kind of kind of coming apart a little bit so it loses power once in a while if I move it right. But in any case, positive signal to the input, blue LED is on. So now we are going to pull it out. And right now it's floating. That's why you see the LEDs doing weird things. So really you want to have a either zero volts from the rail to the input or five volts from the rail to the input. It will work with other voltages. I was thinking of uh, testing that out a little bit. But for now, we're keeping things simple. But now you can see we go to the negative rail, and because of the way we wired the LEDs, you know that uh, we have a negative input. Now we have a positive output. And when I give a positive input, we have a negative output. And then when we're floating, there's other stuff going on. And uh, that's uh, topics for other videos. But. Uh, if integrated circuits are working or operating weird sometimes it's because there is a floating pin so now let's zoom back here and uh, actually measure the voltages 
and uh, I like these visual demonstrations but ultimately you should be thinking of numbers doing simple math but uh, in any case we will get those out of there and just deal with voltages so now I have the uh, power supply back on and actually we do need one resistor so we will put this to the positive rail and it is at the input and I'm going to need something to uh, jumper here so that we can get our measurements in relationship to ground so it's not connected to anything there and here you can see power supply faded out we have 5 volts at that pin so this is a node it's all one conductive area doesn't matter if I measure there or to there it's 5 volts because the pin is not letting any current through just a very very small trickle so we have 5 volts at the input and then 0 volts at the output now we will shuffle the resistor over there to the negative rail and then in relationship to ground we have 0 volts there and now we have 5 volts there remember when you're measuring voltage the meter does not let any current through just a very small trickle and uh, insignificant amount and so we can measure the uh, voltage directly we're not short circuiting anything it is blocking the uh, current but there you can see it is positive in relationship to the negative rail so we had a polarity indicator and so we did have a path to the positive rail so even though I'm using the gray jumper I'm going to put it to the positive rail and we can see that we have now zero volts in relationship to the positive rail so it's a positive output going to the positive rail but if we move the resistor over one so now it's at the input and so we have zero volts at the input there come over here and in relationship to the positive rail we have a negative five volts that's why we were able to alternate the current going through the LED so those are topics I covered in other videos thought I'd touch on them again but uh, this is a simple demonstration of the uh, hex inverter not gates there's six of them in here we only used one so if you need multiple not gates where you invert the signal that's why it's called an inverter there's also the power inverter that you take batteries and it turns it into the alternating current like the uh, power from the wall socket and stuff steps up the voltage and alternates it in a sine wave this is a different type of inverter it's a signal inverter so we take a positive signal in and this integrated circuit outputs a negative signal as far as the uh, power supply is concerned and then if you input a negative signal a low signal then it outputs a high signal a positive signal so in any case hopefully this video was helpful I'm just doing demonstrations of topics that are covered in detail in written form and uh, they're a bit harder to understand in video form but the uh, demonstrations are definitely much easier to understand in video form than written form and so hopefully this helps you connect the two together so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video.